In this video, I want to show you how you can transform a trigonometric expression here. It's going to be theta over 2 plus sine 2 theta over 4. I want to turn it into an algebraic expression just using the algebraic variable x, not the trigonometric variable theta. And we're going to do this using the trigonometric substitution x equals 3 tangent of theta. Um, and believe it or not, in calculus, this type of conversion from algebraic variables to trigonometric variables, or in our video here, the reverse, we switch from the trigonometric variable to the algebraic variable. It's a very common practice, and so it's appropriate to practice this in a trigonometric setting. So how do you write this expression in terms of just the variable x right here? So let's write that out. Uh, theta over 2 plus sine of 2 theta over 4. So it's all based upon our identity right here, x equals 3 tangent of theta. And so this equation here is, you can, you can manipulate, you can change things, because it is an equation, right? If we divide both sides of the equation by 3, you end up with tangent theta is equal to x over 3. This is a very important observation, because if tangent theta equals x over 3, we can think of this, of course, as opposite over adjacent, just usual so Katoa type things. And then from here, we can create a right triangle diagram associated to, of course, the angle, whoops, the angle theta right there. In which case, then we see that our angle in consideration here will be theta. It's a right triangle. And so the opposite side is x, the adjacent side is 3. And so then by the Pythagorean equation, we're going to take 3 squared plus x squared, take the square root. That gives us the square root of x squared plus 9. That's the hypotenuse of this. And so with this right triangle diagram, we could compute sine of theta, cosine of theta, tangent theta. We already know that one. Uh, cotangent theta, secant theta, cosecant theta. But in all, in all of these, it's with regard to the angle theta. The issue here is we have to compute sine of 2 theta. How do you deal with that? Well, we can actually use a double angle identity to help us out. Uh, it makes life so much easier. So theta over 2 plus... Sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta over 4. So we need to compute sine of theta and cosine of theta. So using our triangle right here, we're going to get that uh, cosine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So I can't fit that in the inside of the triangle there. So we're going to say cosine of theta is equal to 3 over the square root of x squared plus 9. Sine is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse, so we're going to get x over the square root of x squared plus 9, like so. And so we can then substitute this in for cosine, we can substitute this in for sine, and then try to simplify it from there. What do you do about the theta? We'll come back to the, the equation here, right? So we have x equals 3 tangent, which we told we found out that tangent theta equals x over 3, for which if you take arctangent on both sides, you're going to get theta is equal to arctangent of arctangent of x over 3. And so we make that substitution in for theta right here. And so then our expression is going to look like 1 half arctangent of x, arctangent of x over 3. Then we have this 2 fourths, which is the same thing as 1 half. So I'm just going to write that as a 1 half there. We get sine, which sine is x over the square root of x squared plus 9. And then cosine was 3 over the square root of x squared plus 9. Notice that the square root of x squared plus 9 shows up twice in the denominator. So we multiply that, that together, you're just going to get x squared plus 9. So writing this one more time, we have 1 half arctangent of x over 3. Then we're going to get a, excuse me, we're going to get a plus 3x over 2 times x squared plus 9. And so you with that trigonometric substitution, x equals 3 tangent of theta, our trigonometric expression, theta over 2 plus sine of 2 theta over 4, is equivalent to the algebraic expression, 1 half arctangent of x plus 3 plus 3x over uh, 2x squared plus 9. And so this idea of trigonometric substitution, like I said, is very, very useful in the calculus setting. And so it's good practice right now to be able to convert between trigonometric expressions and algebraic ex expressions using these trigonometric substitutions. And in this example, um, we do sometimes have to use a double angle identity or other type of identities to do these trigonometric substitutions. So it's a good idea to practice those identities now.